Microsoft Word 2010's Print Layout View is a WYSIWYG, or What You See is What You Get, display that gives you an excellent idea of what your document will look like when it's printed. By default, all formatting information, including tabs, spaces, and paragraph marks, is hidden so that you can concentrate on the effect of your formatting choices rather than the tools used to create them. But sometimes it's hard to see exactly what's going on. Do you need to adjust the paragraph spacing or delete an unwanted carriage return? Are you looking at the effect of an indent setting or a margin? Word lets you reveal these hidden formatting symbols so you can edit them more easily and allows you to display the page boundaries so you know exactly what your margins are doing. You've copied some text from another source and pasted it into your Word document. It's not responding as expected to your formatting commands. You also want to turn page boundaries on and off to check your margins, and you'll turn on non-printing characters to reveal your formatting. The margins of this document are set to normal, one inch on the left and right, but the margins still seem very wide. What's going on? To find out, let's turn on the page boundaries, which will draw a box to show us the exact margin settings. Click on the File tab to open the Backstage view. Near the bottom, click Options to open the Word Options dialog box. The Word Options dialog box lets you control the way Word behaves and how your document is displayed. What we want to do is a little more advanced, so let's see what options we get when we select Advanced. There's a lot to choose from here, everything from advanced editing behaviors to changing the default paste options. While some features are controlled by menus that have multiple options, most of them are toggled on or off using a checkbox. Let's use the vertical scroll bar on the right to see what other options are available to us. Now we can see the Show Document Content section. This controls whether certain items are displayed when you work in your document. We want to see the text boundaries, so let's enable them here. We can also choose to display other items that are typically invisible, such as bookmarks, crop marks, and field codes. We just want to see the text boundaries, so let's click OK to finalize our changes and return to our document. A dotted line representing our margins is now displayed, and we can see our problem more clearly. The margins are fine, but there is some extra formatting information causing the text to ride too far inside both margins. But how do we find out what it is? On the Home tab, click the Show Hide button, the one that looks like a backwards P in the Paragraph group. This button displays otherwise invisible items, such as paragraph breaks and tab stops. Now we can see the problem clearly. On the left, each line begins with two tab stops, pushing it away from the left margin. On the right, each line ends early with a soft return, interrupting the normal text flow and pushing it away from the right margin. If we look closely, we can even see small dots between each word representing spaces. When visible, all of these formatting marks can be selected just like normal text. Click and drag to select the first two tab spaces. Now we can press the Delete key to remove what we've selected. We won't clean up the rest of the text right now, but we can already see that it's starting to look better. Displaying non-printing characters is a great way to solve formatting problems, but they can be distracting when you're trying to focus on your text. So remember, when you're done cleaning up, you can turn non-printing characters off by clicking the Show Hide button again.